Hey everyone, Julie Jacquel, real estate agent in Irvine, California. Today I'm showing you Meadows. Their clubhouse will be done shortly, sometimes this summer, maybe in August. And uh, we are able to go inside and take a look, see what's inside, what's exciting. Uh, outside, this is the grass area. Uh, here is uh, artificial grass, I believe over there is, uh, they, these are real grass. So kids can play there, dogs can run around. Fee here, it's about 245 and uh, with uh, oaks and willow, they have additional $27 per month. So that's about 275-ish. And with this HOA, you get all these amenities. This is their biggest park and a clubhouse. Uh, and uh, they have a smaller park spread out throughout the communities and the six different communities inside. Uh, the Magnolias, Evergreen. Evergreen is the largest homes. Second largest is Magnolias. And also you have Parkland and Redwood. Uh, the two smaller ones will be Oaks and uh, Willows. Residents here, a uh, little over 500 houses. They all can come here and enjoy this clubhouse. This is really exciting. And inside of the clubhouse, you have a working space, you have a relaxation space, in the outdoor, you have a green area. So let's look around. A reception area and um, Here's the main lobby, and what's exciting is about each, on this side of the wall, they have some small offices. So I guess it's a first come, first serve, or later on, it's HOA decides um, their uh, procedures, how you can reserve one of these. You can uh, bring your own laptop and work there. And come on this side, it's a set up as a beverage side. Um, probably you can, come here enjoy a cup of coffee it's almost like a starbucks at your own community uh, there will be a table you can and sit here and uh, like have a meeting a kitchen so when you have party this is where you can prepare food and get things ready this is where you can rent a space if you have party celebration and uh, so it's an indoor outdoor space. This is an outdoor sitting area, this whole area and with a, a fireplace, follow me this way. And uh, this is gonna be uh, artificial grass area and uh, voila, here's the two pools. Julie Jaquel. I'm Ignacio Maldini. Good to see you today. Yeah. Um, so Ignacio, I have another buyer, um, someone who purchased a home last year from okay. me as a primary residence. And this year they have some money saved up, uh, saved up and they want to buy an investment property. Okay. Um, but uh, since their income already qualified for the previous one and their debt to income ratio is a little high okay. with the, for this uh, new property. What can they do? Do you have a program for that? We do, yeah. <laughs> so as we talked uh, previously about um, one of the programs that's kind of geared towards self-employed borrowers, uh, mm -hmm. this loan could apply to that situation, but you don't need to be self-employed. Mm -hmm. um, the cool thing about this program is that it doesn't really look at your personal income. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more focused on the subject property itself mm -hmm. and what the rent is going to do to uh, be able to help you qualify for that program. Okay, so this is specifically for investment property. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and Great. this is what's called a DSCR loan. What does that stand for, DSCR? Yeah, so DSCR stands for Debt Service Coverage Ratio, which is a very fancy way of just saying that you know, you're going to be using the proposed rent on the investment property mm -hmm. to show how you're going to be able to cover the expenses for that home. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially what's going to qualify you for the loan. Oh, okay. So you're using the future rent mm -hmm. as my income. 
Yeah, we'll talk okay. a little bit more in detail, but yeah, that's the okay. basic principle. So how much down payment do I need to prepare? Yeah, so for typically for a DSCR loan, you're looking at 20% minimum. Um, now, because again, the way that you're qualifying for the loan is based on the proposed rent for the uh, payment that you're going to have on the new home, there is a chance that you may need to put more down if the rent is not covering that proposed payment. So obviously by putting more down, you're going to bring that payment down and okay. get the debt coverage ratio into an allowable range that the lender will accept. Okay, so in this uh, particular situation, they're looking at a $1.5 million home. 20% down will be $300,000? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. And the income documentation, do I need to provide all the paperwork? No. So this is a beautiful thing about this program is you don't have to provide anything really. You don't even have to put employment on your application. That's the only thing that we're going to look at is the rent survey that's going to be done on the appraisal for the property. So that's basically your main source of income for this loan. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. And uh, so qualification process, that would be very simple. Yeah. So kind of go, coming back to, you know, the, the name of this loan is debt service coverage ratio. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to use the proposed rents or, or you could have an existing lease agreement. Okay. Um, that rental income is going to be used to offset the proposed payment for the new home. Mm -hmm. Most lenders want the rent to be at least or more than the proposed payment, but there are lenders that below 1%, <laughs> yeah. meaning that your rent could be less than the proposed payment, but because that's a riskier loan for the lender, mm -hmm. uh, you will see a higher rate associated to that loan, but it is a, an option. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is great. So that's a great news for people, for those of you who are looking for uh, to invest in real estate. As you know, inflation is high. The best way to protect your assets is probably That's investment right. in real estate. Yeah, so this yeah. is a great option for people that think that it's yeah. unattainable. You know, give us a call, either Julie yeah. or myself, and yeah. we can educate you a little bit more on how you can make this uh, you know, doable for you and your family. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you. If you need an experienced real estate agent in Irvine, California, text me. I'll be happy to help.